What's going on friends? Welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video. Today, what I got for you guys, we're going to be covering a bunch of new skins and cosmetics that just got leaked earlier this morning in Fortnite Battle Royale of some new legendary skins and cosmetics that are going to be coming to the game within this next week. Before we get into the video though, I am currently doing a giveaway here on the channel for 13,500 V-Bucks. If you guys want a chance to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video you're watching right now, and then go down below and comment May V-Bucks. Just let me know that you guys want to be entered into the giveaway and i am picking the winner at the very end of the month good luck to everyone that enters and enjoy the rest of the video my friends all right boys so as usual on these videos every tuesday whenever they release a new update for fortnite all the data miners hop on they do their nerd stuff they get in the files and i don't know why fortnite always does this i feel like they could avoid doing this but every time they release a new patch update they also put files for new skins like the upcoming skins basically for the next week or so in the files as well so today we're going to be taking a look at all the skins and cosmetics that were found after this new update adding the new burst assault rifle there's actually a lot of skins and cosmetics to cover in this video like usually there's like one or two maybe three there's actually a total of five skins and then on top of that there's i think four pickaxes or harvesting tools and like two gliders a couple back blings like there's a whole bunch of new stuff coming to the game uh, so I'm really excited to make this video. Make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video so you guys will see every new cosmetic. Because basically, we're going to be covering all of these. We're going to throw up images on the screen and talk about these. And then, uh, and, and basically just be covering and showing what they look like throughout this video. So to start things off, I'm going to start off with the, uh, with the first pair of cosmetics. They're actually skins. Now, we do not know the actual rarities. And on top of that, we do not know the names yet. These files were just found a couple hours ago, early, early this morning at the time of making this video. So if names do come out, then I will probably update the the title to the video so people know what it is but as of right now when i first upload this video we do not know any information other than what the skins actually look like so this first pair here i'll throw images up on the screen so you guys can look at them is a uh, like there i think the theme for this is like scuba and aquatic because as you guys see more of these skins you'll kind of understand why i think that's but these first two skins here are basically like deep sea underwater divers now they do look a little bit more modern they have like really cool masks they don't have like scuba tanks on like normal people would um, and then the color scheme for these is obviously like a tealish greenish blue. Uh, the female character does have some yellow on her, which actually makes her stand out a lot. I think it's really clean. And then the male character is that tealish color again, but with a lot more black. So these skins are pretty cool. I think they're going to stand out a lot. I think they're going to be very popular skins just because there's not many skins with this color scheme. And just the fact that they have like these cool masks over them, I feel like the skins that have like fully encapsulated heads and stuff they're just they just look more intimidating if that makes any sense like like if you run into a skin that has like a mask like that compared to like a skin where the head's just revealed i feel like it's just scarier right like you just you're, you're that much more hesitant to fight the person with this kind of skin so that is the first set of skins those like this is the only complete set that has a male and female character moving on we have a what appears to be something that will fit the theme for season four a little bit better and that is like a superhero looking skin um, this dude actually looks dope. I'm not gonna lie. He's got like this like off-white gray weird color scheme with him But then he's also got like this metallic shiny gold and then in the middle of his chest He has a V I'm, I'm assuming that's for V bucks Obviously if he's a superhero, he's gonna have a big V on his chest And then he's got like a big shoulder pad some cool gloves and then his mask has like these goggles in it And this skin's really simple. Honestly, I think it's the it's the fact that it has this shiny gold um, the secondary color to it that really makes it pop out. So this skin looks really nice. It, it'll it'll probably be a very popular one as well. A lot of these skins in this new update that's coming are, are, are really cool. So that is the third skin. All right, boys. So this fourth one here, I'll throw an image up on the screen, dude. I literally, I don't even know what to say about this one. I, I don't know what they're trying to get at. I don't know if this is like some sort of sea monster or creature or if they're if they're trying to make it look like a scuba diver that just has like a fish head on. But uh, basically, this one kind of reminds me of the Leviathan skin with the fish in the bowl. This one's just way out there. Like, I don't even know. This one, again, is like that tealish green color. It's like a fish head with uh, with four eyes, and they're all rolled back. He's got, like, gills and fins and, like, bubbles going up him. He looks pretty crazy, not gonna lie. I'm not sure how I feel about this one aesthetically. I don't know if, if I'm a fan of this one yet. I, it'll probably grow on me over time. Um, but, but I thought this one was super interesting. It's a, it's a way out there skin. And I feel like whenever there's skins like this that are just crazy, it'll probably end up being one of the most popular ones in the game. You'll probably see a lot of people have it, depending on how much it costs and what the rarity is. So that is the fourth skin. All right, for the final and honestly my favorite skin here, we have this dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys look at him for a solid five to ten seconds with silence. I'll throw an image up on the screen right now. 
This dude looks freaking awesome. This dude looks mean, man. This guy, oh my god. I don't know if you guys have seen like Tropic Thunder or I think that's what it's called. Like, I don't know. This guy just reminds me of like that, like in those movies when there's like those action heroes that are always shirtless, but they're badass and like it doesn't matter if they're shirtless or not. <laughs> like they're super buff. They just kill everyone. This is exactly what I think of, man. Dude, this dude looks mean. Like there's really not much to say. Like you guys just take a look at this guy. And you, and 100%, I know in the back of my mind, whenever the skin releases, regardless if it's a legendary or a green common, I am 100% buying this skin. And I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to rock this skin about 90% of the time because I think it looks awesome. Alright, so that is it for these skins. Now, moving into the harvesting tools, we're not going to spend as much time on these just because it, it, there's not much to talk about them. Uh, you can kind of just know which, which ones go with what skins. Um, but I'm going to throw an image up of a majority of them right now. So... Starting with this one, we have a camera on a stick. Cameras seem to be a pretty big theme here in Season 4, so honestly, I I wasn't surprised to see this coming. This one's kind of weird as a harvesting tool, but I also think it'll look cool uh, in your uh, third-person perspective. The next one here is, honestly, I don't know what this is. It just looks like a modern, like, spaceship thing majig that you would see in, like, Star Wars. But obviously, that one goes with the superhero skin, so I think that'll match pretty good. The next one here is a yellow themed pickaxe and i'm not exactly sure what this is again to be honest like i i've actually before i made this video i was looking through all these real quick and i looked at this one for a solid minute and i still have no idea what this is all i know is it looks pretty cool and i think it's supposed to go with either of the uh, scuba diver sets so i think it'll look pretty cool with those and now for the last harvesting tool in this uh in this release now the last harvesting tool is actually a stop sign but it's like cut out to look like an axe i think this one's actually really sick i don't know what skin this is supposed to go with i don't know if this is spo supposed to go with the with the african-american character or what um but all i know is that it's it's different it's way out there and i really like it there's not many like bright red pickaxes that say stop across it so i'm excited to see this one coming in the game okay there's also two new gliders coming i'll throw an image up of both of these on the screen so the first one here is a teal one and it also has like a nuclear sign on it uh, which is supposed to go with the uh, with the top two teal skins. I think this one will actually match really good with it. And then the second and last glider that's also coming in this uh, in this update with cosmetics is a uh, is an off white with the gold with a giant V on it. Obviously. Uh, matching the superhero skin that we previously saw so other than those two the rest of the cosmetics are actually back blings There's there's three new back blings coming with this update as well So the first one here is a scuba tank obviously now I think this one is meant to be for the fish skin just because the fish is supposed to be underwater This one's kind of cool it, it looks really cool actually because the the colors are so opposite the teal and the red So this one will definitely stand out and I really like how this one looks and then the last two here obviously go with the top two skins uh, which is uh, the teal and yellow and the teal and black. I don't know exactly what's going on with these skins I see there's like gauges on the top of them um, But to be honest, I don't exactly know What these are and what they're supposed to like be representing all I know is they're gonna match the skins perfectly So regardless of what they are, I think if they look aesthetically pleasing and, and they look good with the skins then it's a win-win, and, and people are probably going to buy it for these. So, so other than that, that's all I got for you guys in today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, be sure to smash that like button. If we could shoot for 200 likes on today's video, that would really make my day. Also, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new for more daily Fortnite videos and content. And also, don't forget to turn the notifications on so you guys do not miss any of these future videos. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a stellar rest of your day, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.